two. It's your boy L A L A L A L A L A L's. We back in another video. Today we got a reaction. So I'm hearing Lil T J helped squash the beef between Dougie B and Shy K. Otherwise, other known as the D O A and the O G S. He helped them squash. So. My man sent this to me saying to react to it, you feel me? So I'm gonna react to it. I wanna see what's up. I wanna see like what's going on. Cause like y'all politics don't even make sense, nigga. The way how the way y'all politics like, the way y'all politics is crazy. Like y'all should just be confusing. But I'ma see. But my man's from your city. So don't try to say he's out of tune when I'm getting false information. None of that. Shut the fuck up, bitch. What's good, yo? We back with another video. And this hey, is big. hey, this is big and positive news. Shout out, little TJ, man. I don't care what you say about little this. Is a good thing, though. Jay, I know he's had some controversial kind of said in the past. How to say he started Bronx drill. I can't agree with that. He said a lot of other not. bullshit. Little TJ, little TJ, you did not start Bronx drill. You're not a drill artist. Stop. Listen, listen. You're not even a pioneer, Drew. Ain't a lot, he's fast, but let's get into it. it. First started off when Lil TJ posted to his story. Imagine K Fox, Shy K, B Love, Dougie B on one track together. And then I'm not gonna cap. That should be that should be fine. What? Shy K? K Flock? To get come on, that should be tough. That should be crazy. Oh my god. Surprisingly enough, Shy K. B Love, Dougie B all reposted it, which was surprising to me. I know B Love and Shy K, we've seen them be cool, but Dougie B and Shy K have literally, like, Dougie B hasn't said much about the situation, but Shy K literally has lyrics when he's saying Dougie B got shot in the leg with the fuck. Bro, now the way they be dissing each other is kind of crazy. He be talking about he got shot in the leg. Nigga be talking about, we smoking Shy K father. Like, what? I don't know. That's kind of crazy. He held that shit to my dick, and he also has other lyrics like disrespecting C High and other deads of DOA and people that Dougie B fuck with. So again, I just feel like this just goes to show that Shy K and the drill scene and music in general is all for entertainment purposes. Like all these people that are trying to wrap up these drill rappers for the indictments, like this is literally like a prime example of why this music shit is literally for entertainment purposes only. But just because you put let me run that back because I have some real shit. It's like all these people that are trying to wrap up these drill rappers for the indictments. Like this is literally like a prime example of why this music shit is literally friend. Stop police. Stop trying to bag people for rapping. It's literally the rap shit is for like he said, entertainment purposes. It's not real. It's a joke. We're joking. They're joking when they say, I'ma see this thing and I'ma clap him. They say, Oh, we put your man's in the split. They're joking. That's how they play around. They don't mean that for real. They're playing. It's entertainment purposes, man. Drill rapping is for fun, duh. It's like country music. Entertainment purposes only. But just because you reposted the story doesn't mean squash the with Shy K. It just means you could open Sky D. Until Lil TJ about an hour later posted a FaceTime call, a picture of a FaceTime call with <gasps> Lil TJ and Dougie B saying Dougie B's with it. And then eventually posted Yo! TJ, Dougie B, and Shy K. All on the same call together, basically saying he's going to watch the beef with him. And again, shout out Lil TJ. And then, even after that, Lil TJ took to his Twitter and said, EKK does should just fuck this shit out, all this other shit. No funny shit. I feel like they should have been fought out from the beginning. That shit would have stopped a lot. But they let it go too far. You feel me? Because niggas be too, too prideful to take an L nowadays. They don't want to fight. We all think we're the one that fight, though. K Flock or EK? Or Dougie B or EK? We all think we're gonna win that fight. Dougie versus EK. I got my money on Dougie. EK versus K. I got my money on EK. Low key. Fair. Corny, I hate it. And basically saying what everybody's been trying to say that it's too much pride with them and way too it's much like, pride. Just shoot the thirty, bro. Wasn't that serious of a situation? Fair. Yes, shoot the you got smoking with the ops was crazy, and I think it shouldn't even be it. Nah, smoking with the ops is a violation. 
That is crazy. I, I'm not even. A, I can't even. I'm not a hood nigga. I can't speak on it. But hey, that's crazy. This is K and Doug's situation. It should be a K flock. The main one I had the problem with Edot smoking with the Ops. And it should be an OY disciplining Edot in some type of way. Because the OYs was so quick to push block work out and kick him out and call him a rat. But it's just like when it came to Edot. It Yo, and it's crazy because. Wait. So they kicked block without the hood? So they kicked block without the hood and they called him a rat. And. <laughs> They called him a rat. And you're telling me. <laughs> it kicked him out the head and they called him a rat. And he still. And then the last song I was listening to, DB Freestyle, he was like, I'm only OY, not OG. So he's still claiming OY. And they kicked him out the. It's not my business. Okay. Eda was really on live smoking my eyes. From the outside looking in, that's just what I think. Then the only one from the situation, which I think the biggest dude, the K Flock, I feel like he hasn't really said much about the situation. I feel like he's not going to have a problem with the situation, I think, because I think he knows what's going on. If you all know, a couple of days ago, he's actually posting through his Instagram. Uh, you see by the screenshots, like, I'm going to Android. So whoever was on his account had an Android that is speculating that he had a phone in jail. Which isn't too crazy, but he was posting crazy on there. He was posting a lot of um, shit to his story. So I feel like he's up in tune. He's up to date on everything that's going on. So I feel like if he had a problem, he would have said it already. It was crazy because a year ago when... I mean, I don't know if he would want to, like, speak about it. You feel me? Especially because, like, of his situation. He's in jail. Like, does he really want to act like he got his say right then and there? Like, come on. I don't know, but maybe, maybe you don't care. They all split up and everything was left with, with their situation. Everybody was trying to say that Shy K picked the wrong side. Even before Shy K, you started talking. Not no bullshit, not Shy K, you picked the, the terrible side. No bullshit. I don't know why you picked Eat Our Baby and them niggas. That shit was dumb, like, come on, bro. That shit was retarded. You should have stayed with K Flock. Though. Bad decision, bad decision, bad decision. Dropping this year, people are still trying to say that he picked the wrong side, like he's gonna get black balls. Wait. Wait. So, you know, maybe was smoking with the ops. And then the hood kept him. But then they cooked back, they cooked Blockwood out. That's kind of crazy. I don't know. Understand, he's gonna end up uh, regretting his decision and all of this, that, and the third. But this just goes to show you, man, these rappers can put their pride aside. And again, this music shit is just for entertainment purposes. And it's like now that the four main guys are cool, I think we're gonna start seeing Shy K and DOA start from me slowly fucking with each other again. We've seen C Blue and Shy K able to start following each other again. And C Blue has wow. dissed EK's father a lot. Of, like... Nah, C Blue definitely has dissed. Um... EK's pops last time. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, though. I heard a song by Shy EK and C Blue. That shit is tough. <laughs> I think it's time to smoke your pops. That's crazy, nah. Wait, um... Nah, never mind. I'm not even gonna ask. Like, a lot. He's saying he's smoking on ah uh, all the time. And it's like, set of training Shy EK. It's a whole different story. I feel like they've been going back and forth way harder than C Blue and Shy EK have. We'll see what that situation is like. I feel like Nas and BK and Shy K are never going to be cool. I just feel like that situation <laughs> is done and over with. 300, which is Yonkers, Mula G's, and Shimi. I feel like that situation escalated too high for Shy K. But hey, you never know with this Shy K and Bronx drill. But again, shout out TJ. A lot of positive. Be for me, the negatives got to come in. We got Cito Blit, fit to the set rapper. This is TG Crippy. And Kenzo Bola's guy, he said not, not no dead and no beef with the O's. I don't give a fuck. Free K, free TG. I mean, he's not really, not really a factor for real. Like he's not a super big rapper. <laughs> nah, bro, Black, bro said he's not really a factor for. Real. I'm crying. <laughs> he said, I mean, he's not really a factor for. Real. I'm fucking crying. Nah, he forced it. On his side, so he's basically speaking. I don't know if he's speaking for the whole side. I don't know what. Just take it with a grain of so salt. This is what he posted. And then um, B Dot, which is basically Shy K's right hand man, said, Everything dead. Everybody knows what's up. Shit is stuck. And it's like, if he's feeling like that, are the other OGs feeling? <laughs> nah. If he's feeling like that, no way to, um, his hood ain't feel like that. I feel like 
Shy can them. They just feel like that. It's like the money, you feel me? But like, it's because they know they, they're like, they're tough. Like, they could all come together and be crazy tough together because they already do good together on their own. So imagine what they do together. You feel me? So that's what they're probably thinking about when their hood is probably thinking something different. But hey, I don't know. I don't know. Unlike that, like CJ Goon, Lefty, these are big names in, in the drill rap scene. So I want to know what they think about this shit. Now, again, b and Shy K are super close. Like, they really have songs together, Shy K and b Him and b be beat each other. Nah, facts. And didn't, didn't they make a, um, a song called Kidnap Who? I don't know. I don't know. Them niggas was dissing crazy in that song too. See, especially CJ Goo. It was all the time. And then we got Yagi B coming in. And this is a <coughs> set of trends. Like right here, man. They literally call themselves brothers. Um, Yagi B posted to his story saying, You would never catch me with no dude smoking my brothers. I don't take that shit light. I'm a show better than I could tell though. Everything dead and staying like that. And then also replying to a fan that said, uh, they doing this for the better. It's not even about the street shit. It's about the money and business. He said, now I'm convinced. Y'all think this is a joke. Y'all better get the fuck out of here with this dumb shit. Fuck the fan. Nah, y'all give me a got it. He's funny as fuck. Nigga said, that nigga said, this is think it's a joke. Y'all better get the fuck out of here with this dumb shit. Fuck the fame. I'm crying. Not no funny shit? I don't know. And fuck what you think is better or cool. Long with my brothers. Fuck you. Fuck that money and fuck that business. We don't get down like that. That's like sucking dick for a check. Hey, I can't tell. All I'm going to say is... Hold on. All I'm going to say is... I can't say he's a real nigga for standing on... I can't... Nah. It's I'm not a nigga, but you feel me? He's a real nigga for standing on his business. You feel me? But it's like... Nah, as long as you like, he can still make it out by rapping. Just, you don't got to rap with them. So that's that's some real nigga shit. You feel me? You don't got to eat with them. That's some real shit. So anybody, how they feel about their dads and you feel me? Motherfuckers smoking on ops and smoking on their brothers or whatever. But it's just, hopefully they can put their pride aside and everybody can come full circle around this situation. And again, it's, I guess it's just too much positive for everybody. better. We had to get some negative thoughts. I, I love seeing this from these guys, bro. Like, put their pride aside. They can finally get on FaceTime call and just talk it out like real man. If they got to shoot the thirties, they should have been did that. But yeah, man, man, again, I feel like if it was this easy to do it, I don't know why I didn't do it before. But it doesn't matter, bro. At least they've done it. At least it's out the way. And shout out Lil TJ, man. I feel like this is big for the Bronx drill scene. I feel like this just opened a lot of more doors for a lot of more rappers. And I don't know what's going to happen with the OLGs or what's going to happen with DOA, OG, DOA versus OYs. We're going to see eventually. And I think the Julian Nightmare Hold on. Really I know that's not like what is this video is about, but hold on. Let's go back. His form was terrible. We're going to see eventually. And I think <sighs> come on, the bro. Julian Nightmare where Leach really got picked up. I mean, up good thing it went in, but come on, up. bro. I think that's really going to hurt the Gs in the long run. D thinks still locked up. Hopefully they can all beat their charges and get out sooner rather than later, bro. Cause I feel like th this is good for the for Bronx Drill, but for they side in particular, bro, I feel like God, I don't finish that. That's just fire. D dot or D thing or one of them got signed to Hoka Boys and Fr French Montana. I seen talk facts go on streaming platforms and then under oh. their video it says copyrighted by Coca Boys, whatever. So shout out them. But hopefully they can, yeah, hopefully they can figure that out again. I feel like the G's just looking at this like, damn, bro, they building a super team on our ass. But, hey, now is the time. Are. They trying to build a super team on the G's, the G's and Julie's. They need to tighten up. It's the summer coming up. Everybody getting their bag. Everybody <sighs> stay out the way. It's getting hot out here. And, again, y'all need to stay safe. I'm going to get up through again. It's made me super happy, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie. Y'all let me know what y'all think. When I seen this, I was like, it's just like blew my mind, bro. I was like. Bro, it was really this easy the whole time. But I didn't actually think like they would actually put their pride aside and actually squash the beef like so easily, it felt like. But hey, man, y'all let me know what what, what y'all think the G's thinking. Like, you feel me? Again, this is just such a positive news, bro. I was just so happy to see this. Like, it literally brought a smile on my face. Like, no funny shit. But I'm going to get up through our picture of a rock boy and me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. You too, my boy. Good video, boy. Great video. Yo, no funny shit. I don't know. 
You feel me? I ain't really gonna give my opinion. Cause you feel me? Once again, I'm not a hood nigga. But like, what I think is they should have been squashed it. But they, I feel like they probably waited too long. And that's what's making like their man so mad, you feel me? Cause like, I feel like the rappers is probably just thinking about themselves and that's what their man is probably thinking. You feel me? Cause they feel like it's too late and it's up and stuck. But eh, I don't know. Cause like, I don't know. I've like, I've, I heard it was like all like between the OGs and DOA. I heard it was just like rap, rap, rap talk. And it's like, it haven't been um no bloodshed. Nobody dropped there, you feel me? So they should have been squashed it. You feel me? I feel like it was just all rap talk, rap beef. But them niggas don't want to squash it. They don't want to squash it. But the people that do want to squash it, squash it. What do y'all think? Do you think they should squash it? Do you think K-Fox didn't want to squash it? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Um, the drillies and the Jesus thinking. What do y'all think? What do you think they're about to do? What do you think their next move is? This shit's crazy. That's all I can say, but free D thing, free K flock. And that music's about to go crazy, but it's your boy L A. L A L A L A L A L's. And we out.